is his hardest puzzle. Yo, what's up? What's going on? Today, we are gonna look at a few things. I've been working on some projects for a little while right now, so it's consuming a lot of my time. But in the meantime, I have received some really cool gifts and some cool projects from some friends of mine that I'd love to be able to share with you guys. So if you don't mind, leave a like, subscribe, and let's get into them. First thing we're gonna look at is a project by my friend Xavier Spade. So let's check that out right now. Today, we're gonna be looking at a much anticipated project by one of my really good friends, Xavier Spade. He's released a deck of cards but in this deck of cards lies an ARG. For those who don't know what that is, it's an alternate reality game, meaning there's a hidden world inside this deck of cards. This deck will take you through an adventure, and as the project continues to evolve, so does the story, and the story goes quite deep apparently, and today we're going to skim the surface and allow you guys to see what the first type of puzzles look like in this deck. Now the deck itself is quite beautiful, a little biased because the number one here, but this is a prototype deck that you're looking at right now, but it doesn't change the point of the deck, the secrets the deck holds and where those secrets lead. Keep in mind that this is a long-term project and there are things that you will find in this journey that leads nowhere or seems to have no place. That may be true for now, but all things come to light eventually. Enjoy your first steps into this for now. And also I've noticed there's a bit of a cipher here. If you look at these letters, it says save Freya. So I'm not sure what that means. We also have two logos here, which could represent two different factions. All the information I need apparently is going to be in this deck, including the website that I have to go to to find the adventures. Oh, by the way, also you get a 15% discount at checkout with coupon code RAMFAM, R-A-M-F-A-M. So 15% off, which is pretty dope. Series one, we do have what looks like, ah, this looks like Morse code here. First of all, let's take a look at the cards before we get into deciphering anything. These are the cards, as you mentioned, the borders will be a lot thinner. Uh, playing with this deck for a little bit, I realized that the marking system here is some of the most ingenious marking system that I've come across. And let's see if you can spot what this card is. I'll tell you right now, I'm going to go with the three of hearts and there it is really, really genius marking system. Something I've never seen before. Absolutely mind blowing. Is that the queen of hearts? Yeah. As I mentioned, face cards are very cool. Everything looks very dope. All right, folks, let's start deciphering this puzzle. So we've got, uh, I'm going to go ahead and all right, let's look at some Morse code. So we've got Morse code here, but we've also got Morse code on the one itself. So we're gonna decipher this first here. It looks like dash dot dash. Key is map. Oh. That would have been much easier. But we do have all this information, which we don't know where that leads. Boom. All right, on this website, it says how we got here. The end of 2022 ushered in a new unknown threat to the world, a threat that attacked humans, plants, and animals alike. No living entity was safe. The announcement of this was called the Blackest Friday as it fell on the typical United States shopping holiday, Black Friday, just after Thanksgiving. A series of events occurred after that that brings us to where the story begin, uh, is today. Humanity is dying, societies collapse, separate factions have risen to govern groups of survivors, an interconnected web of trusts now battle for resources while a small but powerful group of scientists look for a solution to save everyone that has, oh, and will have lots to put into it. There are letters here that we can figure out. Give me a second. Anbisdynamics.com, <laughs> okay. So here are the type of puzzles that we're gonna be faced with. So this is a bit of a synopsis of the type of puzzles that we have to uh, decode. Uh, the simplest and sometimes super complex puzzles you'll encounter will be scattered all through our world. Sometimes it will be binary, hex code, or Morse code that you can see and then use to find information. Other times it will be a combination of this and other type of puzzles talked about in this section. Below are some examples. So you have hex code, ciphers, and cipher fonts. Uh, here's some binary, some Morse code, some hex, some pig pen cipher. Images. Some of the puzzles will include images. And these will range from text ciphers and image videos and will require you to check contrast for clues. Ah, I love the idea of everything hiding in plain sight. 
and the further you want to go, the further you'll be rewarded. I think that's super cool and that's something that's so original because normally a puzzle is linear. You get from A to B to C and then you've solved the puzzle. This one kind of allows you to go as far as you want or to not go as far as you want. And I think that's a really interesting concept. Sound, there will also be things that will be released that may have sound as a part of the puzzle. So there's Morse code audio files. Okay, oh my God. So basically there's these audio tracks that you can bring in those audio tracks and he explains it here, it's a spectrogram it ends up making an image. Anubis, oh, anu that makes more sense. Here we go. The next step in our evolution, advanced humanoids. This is cool. Can I take this picture and bring it into Photoshop? I don't know. Would you like to know more? Okay, we wanna change the world. Do you have a passion for innovation, desire to be part of something big? If so, Anubis Dynamics wants you. And it's asking me, am I human? Yes. Are you part of a government agency? No. What medical or technical specialties do you have? None. Hey. Yo. All right, so I got to the next website. Uh, Anubis? Yes. Yeah, so there's a form there. What I'm going to be sending out next is a set of for and. Cool. All right, awesome. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, and that is where we are going to stop. Once you sign up, you will be sent the next step of the puzzle. Now, this deck is currently shipping, so for those of you who got in the puzzle, I didn't want to go too far. I didn't want to uncover things that I'm going to let you uncover, but I would love to hear your thoughts about this, if this is something you're interested in. I know many of you really, really enjoy ARGs, and you've suggested a few to me in the past, so this is right up your alley in spade. He knows his way around computers uh, much. Anytime I have a technical issue with computers, I call him. So he was, I don't know if he designed software or just works, makes code or he's really, really, really talented uh, when it comes to that. So expect a lot of surprises with this project. Again, I want you guys to take the lead with this and I want you guys to go ahead and see how far you can get within this ARG. I left the link below 15% off with coupon code RAMFAM. <laughs> All right, next up, we got this. NKD, uh, they sent me all sorts of cool puzzles all the time, so I, I, you know, I love supporting them. Uh, they sent me two things here. I've got this, which looks like a little fishing tackle box with uh, branded with my name and first on it, which is very cool. These are, by the way, available, I don't think with my name, but they're available on their website. Uh, they make some cool stuff. This here, check this out. They sent me a wine bottle inside of a puzzle. Before I do this, let's check this out here. I already opened this, so just to show you how this works. Uh, that goes here, and that opens here, and you have a secret drawer on the inside here, so once, or on that side, whatever side you want. Huh? Oh, the drawer. So these drawers here are locked until you open this and you can see the mechanism there move out of the way. If you're into magic and, and just want a uh, cool place to store some of your magic props or fishing perhaps, I don't even know, but it's a cool layered wooden box uh, that I really enjoyed. All right, here we go. This is it. This is the wine bottle puzzle. We're gonna attempt to open it right now. So inside is a wine bottle. We got a glass of wine, which looks like a puzzle piece on this side. And over here is this bottle of wine. Chateau Corwin and uh, NKD Lodev France on the bottom. And on top we have these, these grapes. So there's a cork here. Seems like you can maybe move it. Let's start with this. Oh, all right, that comes down. Oh, that goes, and that goes down, okay. Still locked. This looks like it wants to move. Oh. Okay, so that gets pushed in. That's pretty cool. Whoa, how cool is that? And you got a wine bottle secured on the inside. And that is like pretty stable. What a cool idea for a gift if you're looking to, you know, one of your friends or 
maybe parents. Uh, I know Father's Day is coming up, but if somebody enjoys wine in your family, what a cool puzzle. I've seen a lot of wine bottle puzzles in the past, and for the most part, they are very, oh, cool. They are very complicated. This one, very simple, makes a lot of sense, and uh, it's fun to do. All right, let's try to put this back. So this goes back in here, that goes up, that goes there, that goes up, and you're locked. So very simple, very cool. Thank you so much, friend KD, for the wine. I will try it out, and I will let you know uh, what I thought of the wine, but the puzzle is dope. All right, next up, we have some more uh, some more things that I want to show you. One, or all three of these are from uh, the Caracore Creation Group, specifically from my friend Osamu Kasho, or Kasho, and uh, he gave me he gave me a few puzzles when I left Japan. I thought I wanted to share a few of these. This one here is really interesting because he said this is his hardest puzzle, and although it's the hardest, it's also his simplest, and that I think is very telling for. Uh, for puzzlers out there. Sometimes simple can be deceiving. He's, he gave me this and he's like, go ahead and open it. I was in Japan, I was trying to open it and it wouldn't open. And he's like, it's your homework, take it home. And then after hours, not hours, probably like realistically like 40 minutes of nonstop playing with it. I finally figured it out uh, because the seams are impossible to see. So I won't even try and point them out. Uh, but there's just this that moves. This is the only thing that moves. And you're here and you're spinning it, you're banging it, you're doing all sorts of things. And the only thing that opens it is if you pull on the gills uh, so, like that. Now, when I push that up, again, notice that it's impossible to see the seam because these are two different types of wood or actually same same wood, but uh, yeah, it's just super hard to notice. And I ended up noticing it looking at it very, very closely, but you can't pull it down while this is engaged. And I think that's what really you know, uh, frustrated me and, 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 and got me to try other things. But yeah, pull this down and open that up and there it is. So that's one of the most difficult ones. Next up, this one you saw in that documentary that I put out, uh, but I wanted to kind of cover it here because it is so beautiful. It's such a work of art. Here is the solve. This opens, you have your first compartment. You have a key here, pull this down. The stairs come down, you take this. This is the key that you place just like that on the bottom. And as you push up, you can feel a button. And when you feel that button, you can pull this back. And then in here, I'll show the camera overhead, but there is another secret compartment. And when you push that, you reveal the warrior. So one of the coolers, cooler, one of the coolest puzzles uh, that I've ever seen come out of the Karakori workshop or Karakori uh, creation group workshop. So to put this back together, very simple. Once you know the solution, those are the ones that I love the most because the setup and, the, and, and putting everything back is relatively simple and not tedious at all. And you're back to square one with this wonderful work of art. This is the last thing I'm going to show you today. And this is by far the coolest thing I've seen in a long time. And maybe the coolest thing that you've seen in a long time. There are only two of these in the entire world. I can't tell you how I got a hold of it because I swore not to tell anyone. That is the truth. Lots of drawers. They do not open. What is this? Hmm? Well, let me show you and I'll do it here so you can see. Bottom drawer comes out. Oops. This just goes on and on. <laughs> Would you look at that? <laughs> 15 drawers all hidden inside this beautiful compartment. And uh, you can go a little faster. I did it for dramatic effect, but that is essentially it. And then to put it back. And then one at a time, use your finger on the bottom to just push them up. 
and then you can go ahead. It's just a little marvel of simple physics, really, as, as they're falling, uh, being, they're falling, which is bringing down the next one. They're being pulled out by these little hooks. It's just so nice to see uh, simple, a simple, very simple solution, not even to a puzzle. It's not really a puzzle. It's just like a marvelous little box that kind of never, feels like it never ends. And it's very whimsical. And anybody who opens this is just surprised at how many drawers there are. And the fact that they're all so interlinked and chained together is just such a nice touch. So ladies and gentlemen, and there you go. That is it for today's video. Let me know which of these items is your favorite. Don't forget to check out Xavier Spades playing cards, NKDs, wine puzzle box, and obviously the Karakori Creation Group if you like Japanese handcrafted puzzles. I wanna thank you guys for watching and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.